Hello, good morning. Um, we've woken up in Arisag this morning, which is uh, it's only a few miles outside my lake. Uh, we got here at about about 3 a.m. yesterday, this morning even. Um, we just couldn't think of anywhere appropriate just to bang the van uh, just for a couple of hours kip. So we, we saw the sign for the train station and thought, you know, we'll do it. Um, and at six o'clock we got woke up by a steam train. So that was beautiful. Um, very interesting night last night, actually. As we were driving up here, we came across a hell of a lot of deer. Um, but the one worrying thing was a group of about four stags um, <laughs> which was fantastic to see, but I'll tell you what, they were bloody scary. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick wash, um, boil some water, then drive down to Malag and find out if the ferry's running, so we'll see you soon. <laughs> if you're going to be able to hear me uh, but we've just jumped on the first ferry my leg over to Skye as I was explaining yesterday um, the car sailed direct to the Hebrides due to the weather so we're having to do two ferries instead of one now I'm just stood on the outside deck I'm doing a little bit of filming and wow it is choppy <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell um, I don't think it's showing it very well um, Good. <laughs> here so everyone's crammed in downstairs and completely empty here um it's a rough crossing but i'm loving it so after two ferries we finally reached the uh the outer hebrides uh north east um and the weather <laughs> if you can't tell the weather is absolutely terrible um what we're doing at the minute is just i don't know if you can hear me we're waiting around to see if it changes because it is super windy this is calm compared to how it was earlier if it's not very good then um, i think we're going to go back to the mainland tomorrow uh, there's massive storm clouds over there see all that so it's it's not quite panning out as we hoped we had what appeared to be hailstone a little bit earlier on as well um, but it's great i'm just struggling to uh, to get out of film at the minute but we'll do something right i just want to show you how to drive this beast when it's windy. Now obviously with it being kind of slab sided, if you look how straight the wheel, so you're spending pretty much all your time with the wheel turned the complete opposite way, it's a riding nightmare. Um, and when people overtake you, you sometimes get a little bit caught out by it, um, with the turbulence and things like that if you go fast, too fast around you. So it could be a little bit of a bugger. Um, this is the Atlantic Ocean. Um, we're at the top of North 
use now. Um, and we've, we've just come for a wonder, really. The wind, oh, got a little bit splashed then. Um, the wind's just horrendous, absolutely everywhere. We're, we're trying to find shelter to park up for the night, but we just can't find out. Um, so at the minute, we, we still don't know what we're doing. We're not scared. We fear nothing. If you can hear me, we've found a crab graveyard. Can't believe Mike's touching them. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> this is where old crabs come to die. Sea's been quite rough when the tide comes in. They should drag it all this way down. Should drag it all Get back into water. So a bloke who lives in that house there, he could uh, he could open a restaurant, a seafood restaurant, couldn't he? Oh, they're creeping me out, man. I don't like it. So in the end, we decided to stay in, in a car. <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm laughing. I've tried to film this about five times. And every time I tried to film it, they start talking. So it's been annoying me. Um, we decided to stay in a campsite at the end. Uh, it's, it's just too cold. And um, obviously, being in one of these things, there's no heating. And we've been in it now two days and we're just sick of just being constantly cold. So we've stayed in the campsite with an electric hookup and we've just banged the heater on and it's still freezing, but at least we've just got that little bit of heat. Um, the wind's blowing absolute gale outside. The rain is just, it's driving from every, every which way angle, so we don't really know. So we just decided to stay here and have a couple of beers. That's what any self-respecting camper van person would do, isn't it? This is uh, 11 o'clock, it's 22.59. This is 11 o'clock at night. And it's still absolutely, yeah, pretty much like daylight. And the campsite I'm on, I'm gonna show you tomorrow morning. And so I can take you around here. It's pretty, it's very good, I mean. Adventure is uh, 